Hello everyone and welcome to Divi Modules. My name's David. In this video, I'll be giving you a quick overview of the Divi Modules Simple Heading module. As the name suggests, it's a relatively simple module to use, but also surprisingly versatile. I use it all the time, not just for headings and subheadings, but also for titles, captions, notes, and even call to actions. Anywhere really that requires just one or two lines of text. So let's have a look. Here under the content toggle is where we can enter our heading and optional subheading. We can choose to show or hide a rule and we can swap the heading order so that the subheading can appear above or below the main heading. The remaining settings under link, background and admin label are common to most Divi modules and shouldn't really require any further explanation. Under the design tab is where we can start styling the module. Under the heading and subheading toggles, you'll find all the standard Divi font and text settings. For this example, I'll adjust the headings heading level, font, text alignment, text color, and text size. Under the subheading toggle, I'll also adjust the font, font style, text alignment, text color, and letter spacing. Under the rule toggle, we can set the rule style, color, width, and vertical alignment. The rule start and rule end sliders allow us to position the start and end points of the rule so that they are outside of the module or inside. There's also an option to add a rule shadow. The next setting that I'd like to show you is under the sizing toggle. But before I do that, let's give our module a background color and some padding. Okay, as you can see, the current width of the module is being determined by the length of the longest text plus the padding. If I was to come over here and add more text, the module width would adjust accordingly. Under the sizing toggle, we also have the option to display the module as full width. When this is selected, we can tweak the width with the width or max width sliders. For this example though, I'll leave this setting off, but I will center the module with module alignment. Under the spacing toggle, we have margin and padding, which you're probably already familiar with. The heading slider allows us to adjust the overall space between the heading and subheading. The final settings that I want to show you are the border settings. Many of these you may already be familiar with. We can of course add rounded corners and adjust the border styles. But there's one setting up here which is unique to this module and that is the border offset. With this setting, we can position the border outside of the module or 
inside. With this, we really can create some unique and elegant headings for our websites. The remaining settings under the Design and Advanced tabs are common to most Divi modules, and so I won't discuss them any further in this video. Well, that's it for this video. As you can see, Divi module simple heading really is quite a versatile little module. For more information, please visit the Divi modules website where you can see more live examples and download the documentation. Thanks for watching.